thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. The Most High created Lucifer, a cherub, who was beautiful and full of wisdom. The scriptures reveal to us that Lucifer was perfect in all his ways until iniquity was found in him. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity was found in thee. Iniquity is repeating the same sins. Because of his beauty, Lucifer let pride enter his heart and he wanted to exalt himself higher than the Most High. Due to his pride, he lost his position in the heavenly places, and the Most High cast him out of heaven onto earth. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. When Lucifer sinned, and the Most High cast him out, the Messiah, Yeshua, said he saw him fall like lightning, from heaven onto earth. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. We all know the Most High will change a person's name to match their character. When Lucifer sinned, he was no longer the guardian cherub who was perfect in beauty and full of wisdom. The Most High changed his name to Satan, which means adversary. He became an adversary to any and every one who served the Most High. Now that you know Satan and his angels was cast out of the heavenly places to the earth, where is he? The scriptures reveal to us that Satan roams the earth. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Satan and his angels are spirits. We cannot see them because spirits are disembodied. We live among demons and unclean spirits. Because they do not have flesh, we cannot see them. The Most High require a spirit to have flesh to be seen and to operate in the physical realm. Satan and his angels dwell in a parallel world to the physical realm. Satan and his angels live in the spirit realm. In order for Satan and his angels to cross over into the physical realm, they need to establish a covenant with a human being to gain access. In addition to the Most High requiring a spirit to have flesh to operate in the physical realm, the Most High gave men and women dominion on earth. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. This is why the kingdom of darkness need our permission to fulfill their plans in this physical realm. They cannot overpower us and take over our bodies without our permission. Israelites, it is very important for you to understand that in order for the kingdom of darkness to successfully operate in the physical realm, they need our permission. Now that you know humans have to give the kingdom of darkness permission to operate in the physical realm, the scriptures reveal to us that Satan is the god of this world, the prince of the air. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, 
according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. In Ephesians 2 and 2 reveal to us that the prince of the air work in the children of disobedience. The children of disobedience are the wicked and everyone who's an enemy to the Elohim of Israel. I know that there are many who proclaim to serve the Elohim of Israel. If you serve the Elohim of Israel, you must keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. If you say his laws are done away with, then you are an enemy to the Most High. To serve Yah, you have to obey his laws. Sin is transgressing the laws of Yah. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. It doesn't matter if you are an Israelite or a heathen. If you break the laws of Yah, you are an enemy to the Most High. So far, you have learned the kingdom of darkness need our permission to operate in the physical realm. You learn that the kingdom of darkness operate in the children of disobedience. You learn that Satan is the god of this world. Satan professed that he is the leader to all the kingdoms of this world. The scriptures have confirmed Satan's confession when he was tempting Yahshua. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Satan boldly said to Yahshua, I will give you all the kingdoms of this world if you bow down and worship me. The scripture is revealing more to us Israelites. Not only is the scripture saying Satan is the leader to the entire kingdoms on earth, but the nations have bowed down and worship him. Remember, Satan cannot rule on earth without our permission because Yah has given us dominion on earth. Therefore, Someone or a certain seed has given Satan permission to operate in the physical realm. Since he is the leader to all the kingdoms in this world and the God of this world, the scriptures has revealed to us that the children of disobedience have given the kingdom of darkness permission to operate in the physical realm. And they made Satan the God of this world and worship him. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. The Most High has revealed to you, Israelites, on multiple occasions on this channel that Satan has a seed. His seed is ruling in all the kingdoms of this world. The United Nations only recognize 195 countries today. I do not know who gave them permission to determine how many countries there are in the world and why should their recognition surpass the Most High. The Most High has established nations through bloodline. The scriptures reveal to us that Satan is ruling in all the kingdoms of this world. Presently, every kingdom of this world is ruled by none other than white supremacy. Yes, Israelites, white supremacy is Satan's kingdom in the flesh. Not all who look human are human. I hope you are now seeing more clearly what you live among. For the last couple of years, white supremacy is what people have referred to Satan's rulership in the flesh. When you know how the kingdom of darkness operate, then you will understand white supremacy and the force behind it. The Most High is allowing the children of disobedience to rule with their father. Israelites in every nation today, the leaders have something in common. A pale face is leading that nation. In the nations that the leaders are indigenous, the serpent seed has invaded those nations and colonized them. Install an indigenous enemy to deceive you into believing the president or the leader of that nation is ruling. Behind the scene, a member of the synagogue of Satan is calling all the shots. I will remind you again, Satan is the leader to all the nations in this world. If Satan was not ruling the nations, then he cannot offer all the kingdoms of this world to Yahshua. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All 
these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. The kingdom of darkness have influenced many indigenous people to fight in the flesh. Anything that has to do with the flesh is Satan's territory. The scripture said how Satan could cast out Satan. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? The kingdom of darkness is well organized. If Satan casts out his own, then his kingdom will not stand. When you fight in the flesh, you are using the kingdom of darkness power to try to cast out a demon from the kingdom of darkness oppressing you. You will fail every time. When you fight in the flesh, you are doing Satan's work. You cannot please the most high in the flesh. In addition, the flesh is an enemy to the spirit. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. When Satan persecute you, do not respond in the flesh, fight back in the spirit, attack the spirit oppressing you. For example, in the Israelite community, some Israelite men find it difficult to get their wife to submit. They will cuss their wives out or degrade her in public. Some will use physical abuse. If you respond in that manner, you are fighting back in the flesh and it will get you nowhere. Instead, he should attack the spirit influencing his wife to respond in that manner and in prayer ask the Most High to intervene. That is how you fight in the spirit. When you fight in the spirit, the army of the Most High will fight for you. Once you are delivered, you will begin to see all sorts of calamity manifest in the flesh towards the workers of iniquity, the synagogue of Satan, the wicked, the children of disobedience, and the serpent seed. The wildfires are no accident, Israelites. When you focus on the seen, you take your eyes off the unseen. The Most High said the unseen is eternal and what is seen is temporary. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. White supremacy is a temporary system Satan is using to manifest his will in the physical realm. That system will not last forever. The Most High is allowing the kingdom of darkness to rule until the times of the heathens are fulfilled and the amount of people that needs to be saved is met. We make the mistake of focusing on the flesh. The root cause is in the spirit realm where Satan and the kingdom of darkness dwell. One of our biggest distraction is white supremacy. White supremacy is distracting you from the bigger picture. While Satan has you focus on racism, discrimination, and all the other isms, he is robbing, stealing, killing, and enlarging his army. Satan has you focus on the flesh to distract you from the real power you have in your king, the Elohim of Israel. The more Satan distract you from the Most High, the longer he can rule the nations and enlarge his army. White supremacy cannot stand against the Most High. If Israelites knew how to serve their Elohim, white supremacy would have ended many generations ago. Because white supremacy is truly the kingdom of darkness leadership in the flesh, you have been battling the wrong opponent. This is why nothing has changed between the indigenous people and the serpent seed. We see the same cycle of racism and all the other isms repeatedly. In order to overthrow your enemies, you have to fight back in the spirit. The root cause to your problems are in the spirit realm. You need the Most High to fight your enemy in the spirit. Once the Most High destroy your enemy in the spirit realm, it will manifest in the flesh. The people who are benefiting from white supremacy are puppets to the kingdom of darkness. They do not know they are puppets because Satan has blinded their eyes. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Satan deceived the workers of iniquity into serving him with power, money, and fame. Pride was the sin that caused Satan to be cast out of heaven onto earth. The Most High cannot stand pride. The children of disobedience is possessed with the spirit of pride. This is why they brainwash the indigenous people with images of themselves to make you believe they are the great white hope. In order to gain continuous support from the children of disobedience, Satan blessed his children and deceived them into believing the Most High is pleased with them. 
because they have yet to pay for the consequences of their iniquity, they interpret that as the most high loving and supporting them. You have to be one deceived group of people to believe the most high is pleased with their wicked ways. Do not let the fact that the most high is slow to anger fool you. The most high do not change. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Most High despised iniquity and he would never support anyone who is unrepentant. Satan made them believe in illusion. The serpent seed believed they have power that surpassed everyone, including the Most High. Satan lavishes people with money to make sure they return to worship him. Their greed gave the kingdom of darkness the permission they need to operate through them. Remember when Satan offered Yahshua all the kingdoms of this world and Yahshua declined Satan's offer? The workers of iniquity took the offer and chose to serve the serpent and he gave them all the kingdoms of this world. Those who greatly benefit from white supremacy have bowed down and worshiped Satan. The Most High will never share his glory with another. The serpent seed have been stealing the Most High's glory for multiple generations. Through white supremacy, Satan is ruling in all the nations. Satan's desire is to be like the Most High. Now that you see how the kingdom of darkness is operating in the physical realm, let us talk about how Satan is receiving the worship he lusts after through religion. Religion is the system the kingdom of darkness has set up to imitate the system the Most High created for his people to serve and worship him. The kingdom of darkness used religion to receive worship. All forms of religion stems from the kingdom of darkness. Remember, the tail series are to expose Satan and to teach you how to discern Satan's imitations of the Most High's truth. Satan has manipulated the scriptures and inserted himself and his seed into the scriptures to get Israelites and heathens to worship him. Satan deceived the masses into believing the religion system he created stems from the Most High. The sheep believe they are serving the Elohim of Israel in the churches. The truth is they are serving the kingdom of darkness. The scriptures said the things the heathens sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not the Most High. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. The Most High do not want you to fellowship with devils. When Satan transformed the Messiah into an idol, he successfully led the Most High's people astray. By keeping the children of Israel in idolatry, it will cause the Most High to remove his protection from his people. Anywhere there is idolatry, witchcraft is present because they go hand in hand. The Most High hates the sin of idolatry. The first commandment state, there should be no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. When Satan convinced the world that the Messiah that came in his own name was the Most High in the flesh, that is when he received the worship he lusts after. Everywhere around the world there is an altar erected to the Messiah that came in his own name. The people worship the false Messiah. The Messiah that came in Yah's name taught the Israelites to worship the Father. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Israelites, can you discern how the kingdom of darkness infiltrate the physical realm? Even though the Most High gave men and women dominion on earth, the Israelites who are members of the deceptive religion system are being misled by false doctrines. The workers of iniquity pose as men and women of the Most High when they are wolves in sheep clothing. The religion system is home to high level workers of iniquity. Through false doctrines, the sheep are manipulated into forging covenants with unclean spirits in the spirit realm. Those who are members of the religion system are in spiritual bondage. The sad part is that they don't know. The worst kind of bondage is when your spirit is tied up in the spirit realm. If your spirit is tied up in the spirit realm, in the physical realm, you are the walking dead. You are being controlled by the one who has your spirit in bondage. The Most High said for you to come out of religion, all forms of her. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. The kingdom of darkness has set up a world government system in the flesh that most people refer to as white supremacy. 
Satan is ruling all the kingdoms of this world through white supremacy. Satan set up religion to receive the worship he desired and to exalt himself higher than the Most High. Satan used religion to indoctrinate the people into false ideology. He appoints his disciples to shepherd the people. He installed altars all over the world in all nations in the form of a church, temples, and synagogues. Satan made sure that his pastors keep the people ignorant to the spirit realm. The spirit realm is where Satan forged many covenants with many sheep. Everything that is going to take place in your life and in this world will first take place in the spirit realm. Society made the people believe the revelations they receive via a dream do not have any meaning. When the Most High is speaking to his people by dreams, they do not recognize him because they do not know his voice. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. In addition to not knowing the Most High's voice, many Israelites do not know the Elohim of Israel. They have assimilated into the system that is deceiving the whole world. What you refer to as white supremacy is truly the kingdom of darkness in disguise. Israelites, the Most High revealed to you in his words that the kingdom of darkness exists and Satan is an adversary to you. Everything the Most High prophesied must come to pass. Yah's words will not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. The kingdom of darkness sole purpose is to destroy the people of the Most High. In order to carry out those plans, Satan uses today's leaders and those who accept his views. Your role is to recognize how the kingdom of darkness operate and how it is affecting your life. You should never have the same views as this world. As the chosen people of the Most High, you need to study the scriptures and seek the Most High for understanding. Everything must be fulfilled. Israelites, you have to understand how this ancient fallen angel called Satan operates. You must know who your enemies are. You must look past what's in front of you. The kingdom of darkness is very subtle with their deceptions. The kingdom of darkness have caused many to reject the Elohim of Israel. White supremacy is designed to keep you in bondage. The longer you stay in bondage, the better it is for the kingdom of darkness in the synagogue of Satan. Israelites, you must recognize the times we live in. Satan know once you know how to tap into the power living in you, it is over for him. This is why his people live in fear. The awakening has caused the serpent seed to create new laws and alter old laws to interfere with the awakening. Israelites, there is nothing they can do to stop the awakening. The Most High has raised up many prophets, teachers, friends, neighbors to help you. You cannot count on the very system oppressing you to tell you the truth. The moment Yah's people know how to live for him, Yah's kingdom will come. You do not need 10 million people nor the assistance of the heathens. All you need is the Elohim of Israel. Always remember, Israelites, the Most High gave you power to overcome the kingdom of darkness and by no means can they hurt you. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. 